What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we're doing two at once. We're doing a little bit extra, which is complete half of the campaign bonus objectives, and we're doing a lot extra, which is complete all of the campaign bonus objectives. So instead of going through each mission and making an individual video for each mission, I figured I would just list off all the objectives you need to fulfill uh, within each mission, since most of them are very straightforward and self-explanatory, and then I'll just jump into a little bit more detail with ones that gave me trouble and ones I could see giving other people trouble. So for these objectives, you could do them on any difficulty, and you could do them with any amount of skulls on, so the skulls can make a lot of these easier as well. So throw those on, throw any beneficial skulls you find you have unlocked on, and if you need help unlocking skulls, you could click at the video that just popped up on the screen right now, and that will get you all the skulls. And another thing I should say is the fact that you don't need to do these all at once. So if you're having trouble with one objective, you could just focus on that for the entire mission, and then come back, and when you play it through again, you could get all the other objectives. So you could do them all at once in one playthrough, or you could play through like eight times and, you know, pick and choose which objectives you want to focus on uh, for each particular playthrough. So that's very helpful. But let's get started on these uh, bonus objectives here. So the first mission is the signal, and in this one you need to do three different things. You need to find all six phoenix logs, which is pretty easy. They're all pretty much on the path you take directly to the, uh, the base where you find Isabel and meet Atriox for the first time. So they're going to be all on your path to that point. Uh, the next one is complete the mission with under 50% damage. So you want to make sure that your Warthog is not damaged more than 50% by the end of the mission. And the final one is kill 50 or not 50, five grunt squads with Warthog Ram. So uh, you want to use your Y ability to ram five grunt squads, and the Warthog Ram ability actually recharges very quickly in this mission, so it's fairly easy to do that one. This next mission is a new enemy, and you have seven objectives that you need to complete for this one. Uh, the first one, which is the most uh, frustrating for me, I did this one a bunch of times, and I could not find all of the supply silos. You need to destroy 11 out of 11 supply silos on this map. I could not find them for the life of me. But here is a very useful map. You can see that the dots uh, right out of the Prima guide, I took a picture with my phone and I just sent it to myself so I could put it in this video. So thanks to Prima, shout out to them for their useful guides. So I took a photo of their uh, layout here and you can see all the dots indicate a supply silo and I circled it even more uh, with a red marker in Microsoft Paint. Uh, props to Microsoft Paint allowing me to circle things. So those are all 11 points that you need to go to to destroy the supply silos. The next ones are a lot more straightforward and easier. You don't have to search for anything for the most part. Uh, the next one is capture four of Decimus's power nodes, and these are indicated on the map by a lightning bolt icon. So just capture all four of those, and you will get that objective. The next one is establish a second base. You're required to do a, an initial base towards the middle of the mission. But after you establish that first base, you want to go and establish a second base. There's actually a, uh, a second base off to the right uh, that has a banished site, and you want to destroy that base and build your own base on top of that. The next one is kill infantry with Hellbringers, so that's pretty straightforward. The next one is use restoration drones five times, which is very easy. You don't even have to heal a unit, just use it on nothing, and it'll count towards this. Destroy enemy base structures with Hellbringers 20 times, and use the special grenade ability 10 times as well from the Marines. The next one is Ascension, and on this one you have seven objectives again. You need to destroy the banished vehicle foundries. There's three of those. The next objective is destroy the hidden facility, and there's four of those buildings that you need to destroy, and it's actually on an island, so you need to take your hornets. On your mini-map, you can see there's an island structure. You need to go take your hornets over there, and there's going to be four buildings. There's going to be a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but there's going to be a handful of uh, units over there, so just take those guys out, and then take out the four uh, bases over there, the four buildings, and you will get that objective. Destroy the banished base. There's a big banished base up at the top of the map in this, uh, in this mission. And then kill 20 squads with a hijacked vehicle, destroy 20 vehicles with a cyclops, destroy 20 vehicles with hornets, and then use the archer missile leader power three times. This next mission is 130, and there are seven objectives for this. The first one is keep Alice alive for the entire mission. So technically she never really dies, she just kind of falls over, and then eventually she'll get back up once you move near her. But for this objective, you want her to never really fall over at all. You want her to stay up for the entire mission. Don't let prison squads die, and there are four of those prison squads. Those are the guys you free throughout the beginning of the mission. Uh, so I just, at the end, I'll just use Alice to do everything pretty much, and I'll put all the prison squads behind the, uh, the base at the end. The next one is gather all resources. So there's a ton of resources strewn about the map, so get all 16 of those. The next one is kill the scared grunt before he flees, and you'll pretty much do that uh, probably without even noticing. Um, you're going to notice that when you're towards the third and fourth uh, group of squads that you're freeing in the beginning. There's going to be a uh, unit that you encounter that's a grunt, and he'll start running away in fear, 
and you could actually when you take him out uh, you get this little objective here so make sure he doesn't run away look out for that grunt that's trying to run away from you take him out and you'll get this objective and then you need to kill three units using the spartan slam which is alice's y ability you need to kill three units with lotus mines and three units with archer missiles and those lotus mines and archer missiles are of course leader powers this next one the cartographer is very easy there's only two you need to destroy the mini bases in the central chamber so there's one in the top left and the top right um, and just destroy those and you'll get this little uh, objective here and then the next one is kill 30 enemy air units using wolverines so that should be pretty easy because there's a lot of aerial units and there's a lot of emphasis on using wolverines in this mission so that should come naturally the next one is lights out the first one is destroy banished devices before reinforcements arrive so you'll notice whenever you approach a portal there's actually a something that kind of looks like a flower uh, a mechanical flower hooked up to the portal itself with like a power cable running to uh, the portal and the flower between the two and uh, you want to destroy that as soon as possible once you do that the banished cannot uh, use the portal any longer to come through and uh, you know send more units at you so whenever you see a portal you want to immediately rush that position and destroy that mechanical flowery looking thing and there are four of those uh, so you want to make sure you do that before more reinforcements arrive so right when you see one rush towards it, destroy it before they could send more uh, reinforcements towards your position. The next one is rescue the UNSC prisoners, of which there are 10, and they're all uh, located on your mini-map. You can see them with uh, the icons on your mini-map there. The next one is claim all the base expansions, so just use all the uh, potential locations to build your bases. The next one is take out the Reavers without suffering Hornet casualties. So for this one, I just kept my Hornets back and took out the Reavers uh, by other means. So just make sure you keep your Hornets alive there. Another one is complete the mission with all prisoners freed and alive. And there are 10 of those units like we mentioned before. So what I do is I just free them and then I just kind of leave them in the corner and I don't let them move uh, forward. So I just keep them alive that way without them even having to fight. And the next one is don't let any units get destroyed in the capital ship bombardment zone. So you'll notice there's a bunch of blackened scorched land. You don't want to ever have any of your units walk there um, because they will get taken out by the bombardment uh, of the capital ship. So just avoid those areas. You could uh, avoid those areas by using the portal system and you could just move around the map that way. The next one is from the deep. There are four objectives for this one. The first one is build two turrets on the beach. Very easy. The next one is upgrade uh, beach turrets to anti-vehicle. So take those two turrets you just built and uh, upgrade them to anti-vehicle turrets. And those are two out of your four objectives for this one. Uh, the next one is get 20 kills with the scorpion. So build a scorpion, get 20 kills with it. And the next one is hijack a locust. The next one, hold the line, also has four. Uh, the first one is keep the barricades intact. So you'll notice that all of the enemy units are going around these uh, kind of windy, twisty paths to get to the, uh, the particle cannon at the end there. And there's a bunch of barricades. Actually, I think there's four barricades. So you want to make sure that they don't actually get that far. Uh, and if they do get that far, you want to make sure you just take them out before they are able to destroy those barricades. The next one is build on all available base plots, and there's three of those, so build on those. Use a hornet, fly around the map. There are three available base plots. Uh, they're not immediately apparent where they are, just because there's some fog of war happening on the map. But you can see the majority of the map uh, right from the get-go. But just take a hornet to kind of explore the edges uh, where there might be one hidden in the shadow. Another is kill five units with the turret drop. And this one's very easy. It's a leader power that you could just call on a turret. It'll drop and uh, start firing at any enemy units nearby. But after a while, it uh, despawns. So you want to make sure you drop it in at an opportune time. But it's very easy to get uh, five kills with that turret drop. And the next one is kill ten enemies with the light bridge. So there's controls for the light bridge up on the kind of plateau area in the towards the top of the map. And unfortunately, you can't activate it by yourself. You need to wait for an enemy unit to come and uh, kind of overtake that position there and activate the light bridge by themselves which offers them a shortcut to the barricades and the uh, particle cannon so what you want to do is take all of your units away from that uh, plateau where the uh, controls are there's like a garrison up there and you're encouraged to kind of reinforce that position because obviously the controls there that you want to defend if you're not going for this uh, objective here and don't even build turrets up there either so they just go up there unencumbered they activate it and then take that position back and you'll be able to use the controls to uh, deactivate the light bridge and do that when there's enemies on the bridge so that way they fall to their death reminiscent of the uh, achievement back in Halo Wars the original and just do that as needed and you will eventually uh, get the achievement or the objective rather that one could be pretty annoying but anyway moving on under the dark is the next mission and you need to complete the mission without losing a Kodiak so protect that Kodiak or those three Kodiaks that you need uh, the next one is eliminate all brute warlords which there is one while you are Jerome, so don't uh, go to the rally point or the nav point 
um, to switch over to Alice's point of view without first killing the brute warlord on your side. And then uh, once you're Alice, you could destroy the uh, the two brute warlords, the second and third brute warlords on the uh, other side for the second half of the mission. The next one is use snipers to sweep for plasma mines. This one is pretty annoying. Uh, just use uh, snipers in the front of any of your units, so that way you don't run into any uh, plasma mines. Just put them in the front, so whenever their your units are walking anywhere, you could kind of uh, identify those plasma mines first because they could detect cloaked uh, units, and then just have them take them out with their snipers. You need to actually manually have them shoot at them; they won't do it automatically. And then there's kill 50 banished units with a sniper or a UNSC sniper. There is kill a banished unit with an orbital strike. And there is kill 30 banish units with the Kodiak. And that brings us to the Foundry. Here you want to destroy uh, three banish production facilities. You want to destroy the banished fortress in under 20 minutes. You want to prevent damage to the Scarab, so you don't want it to fall under 50% health. You want to destroy 25 base structures with the Scarab. You want to destroy 15 blisterbacks. You need to destroy 15 banshees with infantry or wolverines. And you need to kill 40 squads with the Scarab. For the next level, the Halo, you need to rescue Bravo Base. So eventually in the top right corner of the map, there will be a base that you can't really control, but you could reinforce it with your own units. And you want to do that to make sure Bravo Base is not destroyed. You could also use your healing powers to heal the base if you need to. You also want to reunite the scattered UNSC forces. There's three UNSC forces on the map, so just make sure you explore all of the uh, Fog of War so you could find those three hiding UNSC forces. One is near Bravo Base. One's kind of uh, between Bravo Base and uh, Alpha Base, and then the other one's kind of up near the top left of the map. You also want to destroy the Banished Base. You want to win domination controlling all three points, so by the end you want to have all three points captured. You want to keep the enemy from having more than 700 tickets, so more than 700 points. You want to lose no more than five units to the Retriever Sentinel, so just make sure that you don't uh, come across that Retriever Sentinel. Just avoid him at all costs. Kind of let him do his own thing, go where he wants. If you don't bother him, he won't bother you. And then you also want to kill 10 enemies with the Vulture's Y ability. And finally, Last Stand is the final mission. And for this one, you want to kill the two Brute Warlords uh, when they spawn. They spawn after a minute or two into the mission in the bottom left and right corners of the map. You want to keep the Control Room Shield over 50% health. That's the kind of dome of power that's uh, protecting Anders in the middle of the map. You want to take down a Scarab with Archer Missiles. You want to kill the commanders within 10 minutes, and you want to upgrade your turrets. Uh, so build a bunch of turrets all over the map and all the turret slots, and then upgrade all of those, and you'll get that objective. So that's all the objectives for all the missions, guys. Let me know if you have any questions on any in particular. I went over some of the details for some of the tougher ones, but if you have any questions or need any uh, strategic help, just comment down below, and I will definitely offer any assistance I can or uh, advice or strategy. And if there's a recurring question or something, maybe I'll make a video for it uh, for that specific objective or something. But I didn't want to go into each one of these in detail, uh, obviously, because there's a bunch of them. And a lot of it would be overkill for a lot of these, like upgraded turret. That's, uh, that's pretty straightforward. So let me know which ones you guys are having uh, some problems with, and I'll definitely jump in and help you guys out. So let me know in the comments. Click like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch and Mixer at Silver Scorpion 4 and subscribe to my Halo podcast, Halo Conversationalists, and I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.